Now, the second part of um, lesson six is being able to uh, graph inequalities, or actually specifically to find inequalities. This time, we're actually rather than graphing, we're going to be given the graph. Uh, but I put a reminder up from uh, the previous lesson on how we actually graph inequalities. Um, and if you're not familiar with this, you should go back and look at lesson five. Now, when it comes to finding inequalities, those are the three steps that you should try and look at. You should try finding the equation of the line, um, and then which side is shaded. Now, I put the so, um, that means that you've got to decide if it is great, if it is shaded above, what does that mean? So, in other words, greater than or greater than or equal to. Or if it's shaded below, what does that mean? Less than or less than or equal to. Um, and I put little reminders on the bottom here of what those are. Um, also, is it a solid or a dotted line, and so what? Well, if there's no solid line, then you don't see a solid line, you see a dotted line. And if you do see a solid line, and I've clearly exaggerated this a little bit as the equals part of our inequalities, then you should see a solid line drawn on the inequality. So the main characteristic, really, of the inequality questions is that shading. So if we look at a few examples, first of all, we're going to try and figure out what is the equation of this line. So this is a vertical line. It goes to 3 on the x-axis, so all vertical lines start off for x equals. And as this one goes through 3, we can put x equals 3. Now, actually, we're not going to put equals for this one, though, because this is an inequality. So we have to decide which side of the line is shaded. Now, it's not actually above or below for this one. It's just, is it left or is it right? So as it's to the right, I make sure my inequality points to the right as well. Now, my other decision to make for this is... As this is a dotted line, and I don't see a solid line, it means I don't need to put a solid line on my inequality. So that would be my answer, x is greater than 3. Now for my second one, I've got a little bit more work to do. Um, this one's going to be slope intercept form, so I can certainly pull y equals to begin with. Um, I can see that it goes to 2 on the y-axis, so I can put plus 2. And I can see the slope, I can see these two points here, it goes up 1 and then goes across 3. So the slope is rise over run, so 1 over 3x plus 2. Now, at this stage, I want to get rid of the equal sign because this isn't really an equals question at all. I can see that it's shaded above, so that tells me I need greater than. And this one's also a dotted line, so as there's no solid line, I shouldn't see a solid line or an equals on the bottom of my inequality either. For my third one, Oops, and we've already got a little bit of an answer partly here. Um, I can see it goes through negative 1. So I'm going to put a subtract 1. And we can see from this picture it goes down 4 across 2. Or I could just have gone down 2 across 1. Um, either way, negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. So y equals negative 2x minus 1. Let's get rid of the equal sign though, because we're going to do an inequality for this one. This time it's below the line. So I'm going to put less than, and this time I definitely do see a solid line. So I need to make sure I have a solid line included on my inequality. Um, so the equation, therefore, is y is less than or equal to negative 2x minus 1. Another special case, a horizontal line. So this is just y equals wherever it goes through, 1, 2, 3, 4. As we do an inequality, though, let's do the inequality rather than the equals. As it's below the line... That means I need less than, and as this is a solid line, I should see a solid line on my inequality as well. So y is less than or equal to 4. And for my final one, uh, this one goes through 0, 0, so y equals something. You can put plus 0, but we don't really need to put that, but it might just remind us what we're doing. Uh, up 1 across 2, so 1 over 2x. So if I am going to do this properly, then let's get rid of the equal sign, and let's get rid of the plus 0. And then now let's take a look at what we have. This one's shaded above the line, so I need greater than. And as this is not a solid line, I shouldn't have a solid line on my inequality either. Um, those five examples should be enough for you to be able to work through the worksheet um, and for you to be able to find your equations as well. But certainly while you're doing it, you should be thinking back to these two things here to, to make your decision on the type of line, um, but also which side was shaded so you can fill in your inequality.